Next, we have another reading comprehension passage with five questions. This passage is about learning space and how conditions can be created which are conducive to learning. Let's look at the first question. The first question in this passage is, which of the following statements best describe the author's conception of learning space? For this, let's go back to the second paragraph. Second paragraph says, but to study with a teacher who not only speaks but also listens, who not only gives answers but asks questions and welcomes our insights, who provides information and theories that do not close doors but open new ones, who encourages students to help each other learn, to study with such a teacher is to know the power of learning space. This gives us answer as option D, where the teacher encourages students to help each other learn. The next question is, the statement, the openness of space is created by the firmness of his boundary, appears contradictory. Which of the following statements provide the best justification for this preposition? For this, let's go back to paragraph 3. Paragraph 3 says, when space boundaries are violated, the quality of space suffers. The teacher who wants to create an open learning space must define and defend its boundaries with care because the pursuit of truth can often be painful and discomforting. The learning space must be hospitable. Let's look at our options. The correct answer will be option C. As it states that when space boundaries are violated, the quality of space suffers. Next question asks us, according to the author, an effective teacher will not necessarily ensure. Again, we need to go back to paragraph 3. Look at the last part of the paragraph. A learning space needs to be hospitable not to, not to make learning painless, but to make painful things possible. Things without which no learning can occur. Things like exposing ignorance, testing tentative hypothesis, challenging false or partial information, and mutual criticism of thought. This gives us answer as option C, which says that learning is completely painless. Next question says, according to the passage, an emotionally honest learning space can only be created by. The answer of this question can be found in the last paragraph, which says, Finally, teacher must also create emotional space in the classroom, space that allows feelings to rise and be dealt with because submerged feelings can be, can undermine learning. In an emotionally honest learning space, one created by teacher who does not fear dealing with feelings, the community of truth can flourish between us and we can flourish in it. The correct answer to this question will be option B, a teacher who is not afraid of confronting feelings. Next question says, which of the following best describes the author's notions of learning space? The passage stresses on openness of thought, expression, feeling, creation of new ideas and hospitality. All these are features of sympathy, of empathy, hence option C is the correct answer. An effective teacher recognizes the value of empathy.